Hello, everyone. It's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me on YouTube, welcome. Make sure that you do subscribe. There's a bell also. And if you hit that bell, what happens is you get notified immediately as soon as I go live or if I premiere a video. Also, if you're joining me through Facebook, um, whether you're joining me through my page or through my group, um, basically, um, you need to give StreamYard permission to um, say who you are. Otherwise, I won't know until afterwards when I go back in and check all the comments. So welcome to Thursday night. This is um, one of my series that's the Now What series. Um, I have a lot of fun with this one. This one happens to be something that used to be in a in the catalog and then has been come back. So I'm 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 excited for this one and I want to show you a couple of tips and tech techniques with this particular. It's a snowfall accents puff paint. So let me just um switch on down to my desktop here and let's get going. So the snowfall accents puff paint has been around. Um, in a couple of different other catalogs, um, mainly the JDD mini catalog. It's fun. Um, I remember doing this and it was a hollyhock actually that I had used this on. So not snow at all. So this one can actually be found. It's on page 43 of the JDD mini catalog. And this is um, where you can get a lot of different fun things with this. Now you can color this. I highly recommend that you really watch how you color that. Um, but I'm going to be doing lots of different videos using this stuff because I've got so many ideas to do with it. So what I want to do is just kind of give you a bit of a, a basis to what how this works. Um, and um, yeah, I know. The one thing that you have to remember is that you've got to remember to shake it up really, really well. And if you've had it from a previous year, I hope that you have put the lid on. That's the one number one tip that I can say. Make sure that you shake it like crazy and also make sure that um, you put that lid on as tight as you can get it. Because if you don't do that, you are going to have issues with it. So I thought one way to really show how this, this works is let's do something that has snow on it. So I, I, I of course, this is a Santa Express. Um, these are all cut out pieces that I've had. So I'm just gonna quickly put this card together because it's actually the other card that I really want to show you. This is Shaded Spruce. It's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have some Poppy Parade, which um, I'm just gonna quickly put on there. And now I can't even remember what the name of this embossing folder that I used on here. So this um, this Santa Express is such a fun suite. If you've got any little ones, they will love this. Now I also have this in. Um, I've embossed it and this is the snowy scenes is what I think it is. So let me just go in here. I'm just going to look in the index here. Um, page 16 to 18. And it's these ones here and they're called charming landscapes. So one that I had shown the other day has the houses. This one has the trees on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to put this on because I'm actually thinking that I'm going to put a tiny bit of this stuff on there. In the dies, there's this really cute um, train track. So let's go ahead. Like I say, this one's not the focus of the card. Um, so I want to show you things that you can do with other things. This is a very obvious thing that you would do is to do it with snow. All right. So Again, like I say, we want to make sure that we've got this good and um, shook up. I've also gone ahead and I've cut these pieces out from there. And um, I wanted to um, just show you how that puff works. Now, one thing that you should always try to do is after you've shook it, and oh my goodness, I've got it all over the place here. It just exploded. You don't even have to, um, I'm just going to grab some paper towel. 
you do not even have to really squeeze these bottles because it does go. It comes very quick, easily. So I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper. I'm just going to put some of that on there. Like I say, I'm not squishing it. I'm just going to put a thin little bit of snow there. So it's on there. And there's also some snow here. Whoops, that's a big dot. But it does, it comes out very, very freely. And the other thing that I want to do is I want to go on here and let's just put a tiny bit of snow. And I'm just using the embossing folder that tells me where I can put this. Whoops, and they're big. Now you can put this also on with a paintbrush. Um, but, all right, so let's come in. Now, like I say, I wanna put that lid back on there. We wanna make sure that we have that on there really, really well. Now you're going to need your heat tool and we're just going to set it. now. Because these are bigger blobs, what a terrible thing way to put it. Because they're bigger blobs, what's going to it's going to take a little bit of time to heat this up, but it's going to give a 3D dimensional sort of thing. And you could also overcook this, so you want to make sure that you don't. But I have a couple of other tips with my other one and I think you'd be quite pleased with the way that that works as well. I could have put snow on these mountain peaks as well. That would have been a great idea too. So, like I say, it just takes a bit for it to puff up. I can't wait to show you the one idea that I did years ago with this stuff. but it really does pop up. All right. So then I've got it on these trees. You have to be patient with it. Ouch. And it is warm. Oops. Didn't want that to happen, but... And we'll just put some of that on there. So I hope, Peggy, that you um, screwed your lids on very, very tight onto that product because it really does. Oh, I'm just going to hold this. To say this part will hold together quite fast because I've got a lots of bits and pieces from a swap card that I made. So. All right, so that's giving us the snow look like a traditional snow look. So I'm just going to come in and where did I put there? Yeah, I've got that there. So I'm just going to come in here. We're just going to put this guy right there. Oops, I don't want to put him there. I want to put There we go. So I'm just going to actually put that right onto the thing. Um, now, the reason why I didn't put this white onto the um, the um, poppy parade is because when you apply heat, if, if I've done an adhesive on there and you apply heat, it relieves that um, that heat. So what you don't want to happen is that you don't want it to... Um, release your um, cardstock from there. So I'm just gonna actually put that there as well. Cause I just want, oops, I don't really like that there. There we go, we'll leave that like that. We can use that for another day. 
So I've got this Santa Claus is coming to town. So I'm actually going to, like I say, these are all bits and pieces from a swap that I had done. So, and let's go just like that. And we'll put that on with dimensionals as well. I say this isn't the feature card, so it's very watery. And I'll tell you, depending on the humidity, um, where you live is a totally different thing too. So you just have to keep shaking it. Now, the other thing to do at that point is po possibly go ahead and take, um, uh, take a paintbrush to it. All right. So now, because I've got that heat set and all those things there, I'm just going to go ahead and let's just go, go and put that on there. See, but if I had put this on and then put my um, Snowfall Accents Puff Paint on there, it would have released this from the crumb cake. So pretty simple card, right? And we should probably put some embellishments on there. And I'm not sure if I put those embellishments back. Hmm. I'll find them in a bit. All right. So let's just put that off to the side. So this is what I wanted to show you tonight. So I wanted to use the leaves of holly. Um, instead of heating, can you let it, you can let it, it air dry, dry rose, but it's going to do nothing. It does nothing. It just, just would sit there and it goes kind of, um, um, it, it, it just goes clear and I will show you that. All right. So we are going to use this leaves and the boughs of holly. I love this. They're all just leaves there um, and then the dyes that go along with this. This is what I really like. This has beautiful paper that's in reds and greens and everything else. And this is also part of this is also part of our um, stamp camp, our international stamp camp. So you're kind of getting a bit of a sneak preview of what we're going to be using for the stamp camp, which is in October. So I'm going to go really non-traditional colors on this particular one. I have a few things that are kind of put together, but not really put together. So what I, I love is a soft succulent and the certainly celery. But I thought, you know, this might be rather interesting. And I didn't score that. If I did this on, let's see, was I going to do it this color? Yes. All oh, right. So um, I'm going to go with smoky slate and, and soft succulent. I know I, I tend to um, really go with different colors, but in our um, team meeting, Laura's doing our challenges and it's really stretched me to the point where um, it's non-traditional Christmas colors this, this month is our team challenges. So I'm just kind of following suit with that. So, all right. So I have that, this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm not going to be using my certainly salary. I don't think I'm going to be using it anyways. Now I'm just going to come in with my bone folder. And I've cut a bunch of these things out. So, And then I'm going to layer with my soft succulent. And I have a piece to go on the inside as well. Now I'm thinking I'm going to probably go landscape. Now is this not the most gorgeous Um. It's so pretty that the um, um, the die cut. Now, what I want to do, and I'm not sure how this is going to look, but I want to put, I think I could go Christmas wishes on there. So let's bring that one in. I don't want to do season's greeting. <laughs> Mind you, I love season's greetings with, um, you know what, I'm going to do season's greetings. I like season's greetings with, um, not, um, how do I put it? Um, where it would be something that is not Christmassy. This, that makes, well, to me, this is Christmassy, but I guess that didn't make any sense, does it? Um, I'm going to use this. But what I want to do first is they have these beautiful leaf things, um, 
Yes. The stamp camp will be awesome with this. So I do have one of those leaf stamps. And I'm going to come in with my Versamark. I just want watermark on here. Yeah, the talented ladies. I'm dying to see what they would do. Now, I should probably have my paper piercing mat, piercing mat down below here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and bring that in. And I should have this on another piece of paper. Come in here. Let's just put this on here. So I just want, want this kind of to show. I don't want any... Um, I'm not going to emboss with it. I'm just, I'm using, like I say, let me see what that's going to look like. Need something over here. And I can put this like this because it'll be hidden behind there. And I think I'll put two more on there. Just sort of. just like that so I kind of know where that part's going all right now remember I am using this um incredible um snowflake accent puff paint and we want to make sure that it keeps shaking that so I'm going to kind of leave it and not put it the card together until then all right so there's a couple of things. I've gone ahead and I want to I want to stamp this. So what should I stamp that in? I think evening evergreen. I don't know if evening evergreen would be too dark. Let me see what soft succulent would look like on the back of this to see if it's dark enough for us. So I'm just should have tested this before oh you know what that's going to be dark enough all right so I'm coming back in with my paper piecing mat and we're going to put seasons greetings on here and this is being done in soft succulent there we go now if I wanted to I could have heat embossed that in a white in a clear all right, so this is going to go on to here. Now, I've gone ahead and I've cut some of these dies that I'm going to use. And I've cut them with um, this one and the leaf part that goes there. Now, you can see on here that I've kind of done some of that puff paint on there. But I want to show you how we're going to do that. Now, do I want to do this in... Right, I'm just, you know what, I think that's going to be enough. Now, I did this ahead of time, and, and because there was a couple of things that I wanted to do. One, I wanted to show you with this, um, this puff, um, <laughs> snowfall accents puff paint, you can do this ahead of time. So you can um, basically, I've already gone and I put that on. Now it's sat for about two hours. So let's go in and see how that's going to puff up. With the old stuff, it used to work great when you used to do it ahead of time. Because now what that does is it stops it from being um, so, well, it, it, it was runny to begin with. But see what that's doing? That has been quite dry on there. But it's going to pop up really, really well. And I, I think this is the technique to do. So I would say you go ahead and you, um, you put this on ahead of time and let it dry. Because it really does make quite a difference on it. But I'm going to show you one that we're going to do right off the bat. 
And I didn't do a whole lot on there, but on this next one, I'm going to do more. So I've got those two and let's go ahead and let's put this onto this darker one. So I'm just going to glue that on. But it is, it's quite amazing how this stuff works. My suggestion though, is definitely let it sit longer. So if you're wanting to get a card out in a hurry, you might want to slow it down a little bit just to get so that you can um, let your puff paint sit. It works so much better in the past and it's much better now. All right, so we're gonna put this on. So we've got the puff one there and I'm gonna just, I think put one, we'll see how this one looks. Okay, now I also went and I took my, the berries and I glued them together, but we are going to use this puff paint on there as well. Thank you. Yeah, make sure that you do share my video. Give me the thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. Now, the beauty of this glue is one, like I say, we're gonna do it onto a piece of scrap paper. We're not gonna really squeeze because by squeezing, that's when you're gonna get a bunch of blobs. Now, whoops, I also happen to have a bunch of glue in here. So what need, oops, this is, I'm gonna put a bunch of the puff, ooh, there's lots on here. So what you can do, Remember, screw that cap on really, really tight. Come in with a paintbrush and you can take this paint off. Now this is not a very good paintbrush. So I'm just gonna lift up my paint. And like I say, if we let that sit a bit, it's going to work a lot better. So I'm gonna come in and let's go ahead and let's put a little bit more. Like I say, you can't shake enough. You might get frustrated. It's very, very runny. So I'm telling you, do not squeeze. If you squeeze, like I'm just going to let this just come out of this container. but I'm gonna show you the effect of it when you do it right away instead of letting it dry. Um, honestly, I think I like the dry one the best, but we can see what you guys think. So just like that. Let's say paintbrush could be your friend. Make sure you wash it out right away. All right, so let's come in with that paintbrush. I mean, with the heat gun, I'm going to hold this and it will take a little bit because it is a little thicker. It's very cute, like on kids cards, but like I say, you can do this. I think um, a couple of years ago, I had done it with another um, bow. Down. But it does take a bit to do. So we're just going to get that. Like I say, I'm thinking that I like it better when it's been put on and then dried and then put on. This takes a little bit longer to puff as well. But you don't want to just leave it and then sort of, this one's not working as well. Okay, so this is the puff on here. 
this will show up a lot better because it's on the red berries. Looks like it needs a bit more of the paint. I was went quite sparingly on there. So let's try that again. Whoa. Well, we're going to leave that blobbed. A lot of snow in that one particular place. Do not squeeze too much because you will be disappointed. It does take a bit of practice is what I would say. Put that lid on tight. Switch to YouTube, you like it better on YouTube? Yeah, I do, you can watch YouTube on TV. Not that you want to see a big of me, but. So here, this is going to pop up. Come on. You want to make sure that you've got it all, like, you don't want it so that it's moist. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and let's put our card together. I really like how the Versamark um, colored that on there. So I'm going to come in. Let's put on some dimensionals. Now, before I do the dimensionals, what I want to do is I want to put some ribbon behind here. Now, the ribbon that comes with this particular suite is it's a woven ribbon. And it didn't quite, to me, well, it's... It's nice and it, it'll pull apart, but what I really thought would go well is this soft sea foam and the soft succulent ribbon. So I'm just going to, oh my goodness, just going to loop it and have it come down. There we go, and probably not enough down, so let me just pull this down just a bit. And there. And it looks to me like I've got my ribbon that's, it's been colored, so. so I'm just gonna actually put this on here, and then we're going to secure it more with dimensionals. There we go. Nothing nicer than a bunch of ribbon on a card. I just want that down a little bit because I'm going to trim that a little bit. All right, so let's just cut this off. Oops. Cut it there. And there as well. All right, now we can sit and put our card together. So we're going to come in with our dimensionals. So I hope that you like this puff paint. Like I say, you can you can definitely take it from I I would call it like a whimsical type um Thing that you would use the snow on it would be great with the penguins it would be great with the oh those animals i can't remember what they're called laura had said that to me earlier um but and the gnomes they would be amazing with the gnomes as well so let's put that there and we have like i say i really like when you use the puff paint paint i really like um, being able to, um, um, I like it when you put it on first and then, and let it dry for a couple of hours. That was always my, my best success with it before as well. All right. So we're just going to put this on here. 
that. Now it's too bad they didn't have a smaller leaf. Actually, these sprigs would have looked pretty good. You know, I... And I know that looks, it seems strange to put that on there, but that would work on there. No, I don't like that like that. I think this would be better underneath. Oops. Oh dear, that this is a freestanding outer frame to it in it. Need to get it there we go, that's better. I am thinking that this would be the best to use. So I'm actually going to use that. And I'm not even sure where my mini cut and emboss went to. That is silly. Oh, there it is, it's right here on the floor. Oh my goodness. I was doing quite a few videos in the last few days, so. So let's just put these sprigs and see how they'll look. <coughs> Excuse me. You say, I'm going to actually, I'm going to put them. Uh, let me just cut this so that it's. Ace makes waste, right? And we can cut through two of these. And maybe, ouch, we can use that. There we go. Closed in my space here for working. I'll just run it back through. I love this green and the soft succulent together. It's so pretty. But I think that's going to be enough up there. So you could put more puff on there if you want. Yeah, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of this on there. And we could put puff on here as well. I find something like this, less is best, unless you're going for that whimsical look. Those berries didn't work out the way that I wanted them to work out. And I'm just gonna put those along the side there as well. There we go. Oops. My card is not coordinate. It's not being good to me. All right. So, like I say, we could turn around and let's put some of that puff. We could have put some of this, you know, yeah. I'm going to do something that. I want to get some more of that puff on there. So I'm going to take this. I know. Look what I just did. Yeah, that works better. And we're just going to put that in there too. And that other there. All right. So then this is going to go onto our card. Look at how pretty that is on a gray card. Like I say, we could have done that onto a um, uh, pear pizzazz card. I'm going to do it this way today, and then I can do something with gray with another one. So I'll just put this onto the front. So that puff um, paint, I will be using it quite a few times actually. I've got quite a few ideas of where I want to use it. I want to show you a real neat technique with it that I did years and years ago with it. No, I 
keep wanting to put that red on there and it's not working for me. All right, so we have that. Let's go ahead and put some embellishments. These opal rounds, the in color opal rounds will work just great with this. So just move this stuff out of the way. So I'm just going to come in and I think I'm just going to use the soft succulent ones. I have a blob of um, blue there. So let's go and that right about there. And then for the inside, I'm just going to come in with one of my, my leaf. And I'm going to use my soft succulent. And we'll put that on there. Cake icing, yes. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, it would be great for cake icing, wouldn't it? All right, so let's just put that there. And then on the inside, they have... This stamp set has some really neat things because it has stuff that not only on the outside, um, it has like this says season's greetings from our home to yours or to friends near and far. You could put whatever is appropriate on there for that. So I'm just going to put this on here and let's recap with that snow, um, snowfall, snow, um, snowfall accents puff paint. Depending on the humidity of where you live is going to be how this product works. Um, if you um, live in a very um, humid area, it, it may be a little bit runnier. If you um, shake it up as much as you can, you, you might want to sit there and shake it for quite a while. You might want to use it with a paintbrush. I found the best way that I like to see this. This is frustrating me. I'm sorry. I've got to do this, glue this down. Um, is put it on first. Let it sit for a couple of hours. I think you will be happier with that result. Because I have found that that's the way it looks the best. Okay. So there's a different colored, well, it's green and green. Uh, okay, so give it a try. It's, it's lots of fun to play with. I think on here, it has more whimsical sort of type styles. So whether it's big blobs or, or streaks or something like that, it works quite well with that particular type of card. Um, and just, this, that was a bit of a sneak peek to see this Leaves of Holly um, bundle. Um, the stamp camp that we're doing, which will be in October, and registration has opened for it, um, will be, um, and we always just get them while you can, because it um, these do tend to sell out. Um, but um, registration has opened um, for it, and it will be the end of all. October. There'll be 13. Um, if you buy the suite, there's 13 make and takes. And then you get invited to a Facebook group. This is exclusive only for the people that um, go with the, the suite. You get um, invited into a Facebook group and then we do 13 more alternative projects. So it's kind of a fun, it, it's a great thing. It's a day and a half and it's international. All right. So what else is happening? Hope to see you on Saturday for my sketch challenge. Um, I'm, uh, and yeah, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock for my sketch challenge. So if you have any ideas that you'd like to see, I would love um, to get some um, ideas of what to do with it now what. I tend to um, try to use newer stuff, I guess, but this, like I say, has been around for a while and it's good to always revisit it. Um, I'd love to see what you've done. And um, in any event, um, have a good evening. We will talk to you all soon. Don't forget, give me the thumbs up, share my video, and we will see you soon. Bye for now.
is not letting me stop my video. Oh my goodness. Let's end again. There we go. have to do uh, oh dear this is not working okay so let's end the broadcast